We've held three Book in the Park events last year in conjunction with LPK Learning and support from Crawley Borough Council. In February, we ran our normal event at Worth Park with the theme of Knights and Dragons. Children made shields, fire-breathing dragons, paper bag princesses and hatching dragons. We had our book swap tables, two book trails around the park and our storytelling tent moved inside to Ridley's Court due to the wet ground in the park. We had lots of families with children of all ages, we think around our usual 400, and raised more money for our Zambia book project. And we had an amazing set of volunteers who helped cut out all the craft pieces, including 400 shields, and those that helped with running the event on the day. We really couldn't have run it without them. Then lockdown happened and we didn't know what to do. We wanted to do something to bless our community, give families a focus on their daily walks and of course encourage reading. We obviously needed to keep within the guidelines and didn't want to encourage hordes of people coming to the park as we had done over the previous couple of years with our normal Book in the Park events. Lucy from LPK Learning and I worked out that we could do something. So in August, we ran Book in the Park week with the theme of we're going on a bear hunt. We hid trails, shared crafts that could be done at home, shared stories online and encouraged people to hide and find books using Crawley Story Seekers. We used Worth Park, but also we wanted to spread the Book in the Park fun across the town. So we set up trails in Cherry Lane Park in Langley Green and in the play park next to Broadfield Shops. As usual, we created the event on Facebook and used this to spread the word. We don't know exactly how many people engaged with it. We couldn't click them all in as we normally do, but we had quite a few comments on our Facebook event with some sharing photos, words of encouragement and thanks for our efforts, which of course was greatly appreciated. We encountered a few issues with the trails disappearing and like everything else when you do it for the first time, you learn from the issues and make changes, which we did when we ran it again in October half term. That was a wet week and we wondered if anyone would enjoy our perfect pets hidden around the three parks again from Monday to Friday of that week. But families went out to search for them and again we had some great feedback. We searched Worth Park yesterday in the pouring rain, thank you, we had fun and we had a fab time this afternoon completing the trails at Worth Park. Thank you to all the volunteers who make this possible. We always love taking part. We had a great set of volunteers who took it in turns to daily put out and collect the trails. And without them, booking the park would be impossible. We're glad that we've been able to continue in some way despite the difficulties Lockdown presents in gathering everyone together. And dependent on funding, Book Club and LPK Learning will continue with our events this forthcoming year, starting off in this way, then hoping we can run our usual big events before the end of the year. But we shall have to wait and see what happens. We're keen to reach other parts of the town, and this is at least something we have achieved this last year. Our vision to encourage a love of reading will continue into 2021.